guys, welcome or welcome back to our channel. Today I will be trying to put this shark costume from PetSmart onto my ferret and giving it sort of a review. So first thing that I notice is it looks pretty well made. Just so you do know, they have this at PetSmart for Halloween because that is coming up in a month or so. And it's really cool because this is actually for bearded dragons, not for ferrets because you may be thinking, well, PetSmart, I didn't know they did have ferrets, so they have around five items, and so I noticed it's pretty well made. Um, it's a stuffy, pretty much, with straps and stuff, but it looks like it's well sewn and everything, and just so you know, this is $5 Canadian. I don't know if they have this in America, but most people would say, why don't you fast forward putting on your ferret? Well, I just want to show how hard it is. If it's hard at all, I don't know. I've never put this on my Melvin. Now, Melvin's pretty relaxed because he just um, woke up. I'm just putting it on now. Oh, Your ferret may be easier to put stuff onto. Your ferret may be harder to put stuff onto. Now, the first thing I notice is my ferret is too big for this. <laughs> Melvin. Melvin, I thought I was doing good. Come on, buddy. You can do this. It fits him. It just looks super tiny on him. He's so long compared to it. Longer than I thought. Aww. Well, for five dollars, it's pretty good. He can easily slip his legs through it, though. I would for sure put the harness on underneath it um, instead of using this as a harness. Not that it can do that, but this is pretty cool. I'm going to try to put it on again a tighter. How about this? Let's put it. Now stick your head through this, Melvin. Melvin, head through. No, I'm not going to do that. Wow. This is... <laughs> Lily's just watching me. I was going to do this on Lily, but Lily's less of a carpet shark, I think. So if you guys don't really get this joke, Barrett's nicknamed are carpet sharks. So that's why it's so funny that I found a shark. But Melvin is not going to wear it for me. And it was such a good idea, I thought, Melvin. Melvin. Okay, I got one strap on. Okay, this is harder than I expected. Now take off all the tags and some ferrets will chew it. Put this thing away while your ferrets are not wearing it. Do not leave your ferrets with it or in it. But I think that's pretty cute for $5. It's very affordable, especially for pet costumes. Pet costumes usually aren't. But, like, this looks pretty adorable. And it looks like something that would be so expensive. And it's, it's pretty cute, I gotta say. You will need to adjust it a little bit. It doesn't look as good as I thought it would, but that's pretty cute. So, make sure your ferret won't choke on it, it won't suffocate. This is pretty good. Still put a harness on underneath it, and then lead the leash through from underneath. And, because you can't trust this sort of thing. This just looks pretty loose. It's totally going to fall off if he has it on for like an hour. Only keep it on your ferret for a short amount of time, so like 15 minutes is a good amount of time. Don't leave your ferret alone with it on, because they can choke on it or suffocate. A whole bunch of things like that, but otherwise, da -na, da -na, da -na, da -na, da -na, da -na. it looks pretty cute. I think it would look better on your dragon, but if you shove it up a little more, it looks even cuter. Hello, my Melvin, my shark, and it looks just like something a carpet shark would wear. I don't know. It's so cute, especially if you got a photo of him on the carpet. That would be adorable. Um. So now I'm going to give it a rate of 10 and tell you why it's like that. So for, I'd give it 7.2. Just because I think it's adorable. I think there's a lot of hazards that some people can have, which does bring down the point a lot. It's hard to put on your pet, which I can't blame it for. It, it's just so cute. But I feel like there's a lot of hazards that could happen here. Just if you don't know how a ferret should wear a costume. I, I just think it's so cute. 
I think a lot of people wouldn't know to like put a harness on underneath it and to not leave it on your ferret for a long amount of time and stuff like that, which is why it brings the points down. But I'd say I would give it a 9 if it didn't have all of those things bringing it down with the safety stuff. But otherwise, I think it's awesome. It was pretty easy to put on. It took around two minutes to put on a shark costume on my carpet shark. I think it would be so cute, though, like on this guy. I was already going to make him a shark costume. I'm, I'm going to make a video on that. Because um, Halloween's in just a month or so, a month or two. And so, Melvin, we'll see you. Next. things I do want to add. The second I took this off, my ferret started licking me a whole bunch on my cheek and stuff. So your ferret may get irritated by it, the weird material, or just not like it on. Another thing I just want to say is, if your ferret's having a hard time putting it on, use some fish oil stuff. I use the pills, but you can also use the actual spritzer. So what I do is I cut open a little pill and just put it on their tummy and then they'll be focused on licking that. If that doesn't work, you can put it on your hand and then have another person holding on the hand while you put it on, and then they'll just be focusing on licking it. That's just a really good tip I think should really work and help you. Um, pretty much every ferret likes salmon oil. I haven't met one that doesn't, and it's so healthy. Um, it has lots of protein. Uh, I like this Alaskan stuff. It's a pretty good size. There's two different ones. It depends if you want the bigger or smaller ones. But they're pretty good either way. And hopefully this helped you. Until next time.